Water heating accounts for about 25% of all the energy that we use in homes. And one big reason for that is that we use tank style water heaters, which basically have to store and heat water 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But there are new technologies that are far more efficient. Gas tankless style water heaters are up to four times more efficient and they use about 25 to 50 percent less energy for heating hot water. Now, if you're complying for Title 24, that means that you could save as much as 7 kBTUs per square foot per year. With me today is Josh Wiles from Takagi, USA. Josh, explain to me how one of these units work. Well, basically, uh, tank, tankless water heaters are very efficient for one reason. Water comes in through the cold inlet here, passes through the heat exchanger here, and then comes out through the hot outlet here up to 50 degrees hotter or more depending on your flow rate. Uh, this heater here is the Flash TK2 made by us, Takagi. And uh, this heater is pretty typical for a standard home. Uh, this one will handle two to three showers at any time. Will this provide all the hot water needs for a typical home? For a typical home, this unit here is perfect for homes. This one will handle between a 50 and 75 gallon water heater's uh, heating load. So this one basically can handle a two or three bathroom home, maybe four or five, depending on how many people are living in the home and what their actual water consumption is. So I'm going to be able to run the dishwasher and take a couple of showers at the same time? Correct. You can do multiple things at once. However, you have to watch how many uh, fixtures you're actually using because tankless heaters are limited to how many gallons per minute they're capable of producing. This one, for instance, uh, can handle two to three showers at the same time if they're the low flow two and a half gallon per minute shower heads. If they're high flow, you have to take that into consideration and make the necessary adjustments, possibly going with a, a larger heater or a uh, multiple heater system. You can also do them with storage tanks and all of that, but your energy efficiency is reduced more than half. How do tankless water heaters work? Well, basically, Steve, tankless water heaters work uh, very similar to a heater in your car. We have the computer here, which controls every aspect of the heater. We have the heat exchanger here, which uh, basically heats the water. The gas burner down here, which uh, the, burns the gas and the gas uh, continuously uh, heats the water as it's being needed. You have the manifold for the gas here, which regulates how much gas you're actually going to be burning. And the fan right here, which uh, allows the unit to be more efficient than a typical convection style uh, water heater. Yeah, it forces the air across the heat exactly. exchanger. Exactly. And you don't have to worry about backdraft. Exactly. Right? Now I understand this does not have a pilot light. No, it does not. Uh, our tankless water heaters are completely electronic ignition. Basically, it'll sense the flow of the water. The computer will initialize the startup sequence, which includes the fan, then the igniter, then the gas manifold will open. When the manifold opens the different valves, it will then ignite and you'll have hot water within six to nine seconds from your groundwater temperature to about 120 degrees. Wow, that's pretty quick. Whirlpools are so popular now, I suppose gas tankless water heaters have a real advantage. Yes, uh, an 80 gallon Whirlpool tub won't be filled by a 75 gallon water heater. Uh, with a tankless, you can fill the tub plus take a shower right after that, do a load of laundry or whatever you want. So you have an endless supply of hot water. Yes, sir. This unit is very compact. They used to be huge. Correct. The tankless water heaters, because of uh, electronic controls such as computer, uh, solid state equipment, has gotten much smaller. They've been able to compact the size. No longer are we requiring diaphragm type uh, flow sensors to allow the heaters to turn on. We're using solid state equipment such as a paddle wheel flow sensor or in this particular unit, a turbine type flow sensor with magnets that uh, trigger the computer and let the unit turn on. Now these units are slightly more expensive. What about the payback? The payback, because when you install it, you get an instant uh, return. You, number one, you have the rebates that are offered by a lot of utilities, but also the heater itself has a very high efficiency rating. Basically, you're not storing water. With a tank, you install it, you're heating that water 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether you're using it or not. Right now, I'm talking to you, and at home, my heater's heating my water for water I may use tonight. These heaters only heat water when you need it. So you turn on the faucet, it turns on, you turn off the faucet, it turns off. Uh, so what would you estimate the typical payback to be? Typical payback is between two to four years, and the heaters themselves will last on average eight to 15 years, depending on water quality. The water quality uh, can make a difference in the life expectancy of the heater. However, if you're looking at a tank, a tank is built to last eight years, no more. It may last longer, but it may not. How long are these designed to last? Well, in Japan, these heaters last on average 15 to 25 years, depending on their water quality. In the U.S., our water quality standards are much lower, so the typical life expectancy is 8 to 15 years. 
Josh, thanks for being here. It's my pleasure. If you'd like to learn more information about tankless water heaters, check out the residential manual and click on the resources section of the online video training series.